Uh, my name is Peter Vischer. I'm the uh, Chief Technology Officer and the VP of Engineering at uh, Argo, ODG. And today we're going to talk about our, our newest division, which is our Space Robotics Group. Uh, this vehicle I'm standing by here today is the, is the latest of a number of different rovers, uh, lunar and Martian rovers, that we've produced for the Canadian space industry. We started in 2008 and have produced about five, six generations of uh, rover prototypes. One of the things that will kind of st jump out at you is that the wheels look kind of strange. Correct. And uh, the main reason for that is on the moon it's extremely harsh, uh, both in temperature and with the vacuum and with radiation. So a rubber tire might last a week up there. So we had to actually reinvent the wheel for this project and come up with a wheel that would be able to survive um, the, the minus 200 Celsius, which is not nearly as cold as Ottawa. What's, so. the, what's the lifespan of these uh, wheels? We, we have some that have been tested for up to 100 kilometers so far, okay. which is, will, would well exceed what we'd expect on a mission. Right. So We've been working on it for about eight years, but about three years ago we decided to take some of this technology and uh, expand it into, well, the Earth robot market. Yeah. So behind us here we've got a larger robot uh, designed for, um, for, for different purposes. It's a very multi-purpose platform, and you'll see a little orange one in the back there too. Yes. That one's actually set up right now as a firefighting vehicle. So if the fire is too dangerous, if, there's, if it's too hot, or if the fumes are too strong, we can send that in very close to the fire and, and uh, keep firefighters out of harm's way. That's the Argo J5, right? That's correct. That's right. And again, these are used for also agricultural purposes and mining as well, right? So there's a lot of industrial applications. That's correct. They're very, they're very multi-purpose. The other vehicle we see behind there is a bit bigger. It's, uh, we use that more for uh, security purposes and uh, for assisting soldiers and keeping, uh, keeping uh, our military personnel out of harm's way. Um, it's, it's a vehicle that uh, uh, leverages a lot of the uh, Argo uh, Argo Heritage technology as well as some of the technology we've developed here with the Canadian Space Agency. So in the last eight years we've seen about a 500 percent increase in uh, the number of engineers that we have on staff. Our, um, our robotic platforms are currently experiencing about 100 percent year-over-year growth um, in the last few years. We, uh, we expect to exceed three million dollars in sales this year. So it's, a, it's been a great program for us and we are very thankful for the um, CSA support and their commitment to ongoing uh, technology development. And I hope that in the future when we talk about export sales, we might even start talking about other planets as well. So, thank you very much.